Good morning, everyone. Welcome to another edition of the main event. We're your hosts, Dave and Sue from Candles Off Main in beautiful, historic downtown Annapolis, Maryland. Today, we are going to talk about a new line right now, but an old line actually for us, uh, V-Lux. Yep. V-Lux just came back in stock for us uh, a couple days ago. Yep. Just recently got it back. We're very, very happy to have V-Lux back in stock. We really love the fragrances. We missed them as part of the store. Um, they have one of our favorite fragrance, our favorite holiday fragrance, which is St. Moritz. It's a very beautiful um, blend, great for the holidays, and has a gorgeous red wax. So we'll be sure to get that back in uh, in the fall for the holidays. So we're excited to have that back. Um, we really like Velux candles. They're beautifully done. Comes in a nice nickel plate glass. Uh, softly colored waxes, pale pink, pale blues, um, kind of a natural ivory. Um, and great fragrance collections. Velux was founded by Marjorie Gubelman, Gubelman and uh, inspired by her, her favorite places to visit. So there's Mal Maldives, Côte d'Azur, Palm Beach, Buenos Aires. She now has 10 fragrances total and will, will slowly um, grow the line over time. Um, she's got Capri, uh, I, f I forget the other, but quite a lot. A nice selection of fragrances. One of my favorites was Istanbul. Um, so some really great stuff going on. They use, um, in their description they say that they've got natural botanical waxes. We were described to it as um, beeswax beeswax, and palm wax. And we kind of really like that blend, that idea. We love beeswax a lot. Um, palm wax is also a very nice natural wax. So we'll have to confirm right. if it still is beeswax and palm wax or if it's changed. The candles appear to be exactly, yeah, exactly. the same. Same so, colors and everything. So. Yeah. And they do use um, a zinc core. In their wicks for stability. Uh, not all of them. This one does. This one these, looks like these, a paper core. Who are these? Um, this one's Cote d'Azur. It does seem to have a zinc core. Completely safe. Just like to give you a heads up on that because some people see metal, they think it's lead. It's not. It's zinc. Um, this is the only one in this group that seems to have it. The others are, are paper core. Uh, very long lasting, about 60 to 80 hours. Mm -hmm. um, and pretty fragrances. Some of them, like one of our favorites, is Maldives. Really beautiful, especially in the summertime, a really nice background fragrance. So it doesn't overwhelm the room. It would be really nice when you have company over um, because it's just kind of like you walk in and it smells, you're like, geez, it smells really nice in here. You're not necessarily sure why, but you just notice it. You notice that it smells beautiful. Um, you realize that it's the candle, and that's why I'm saying it's a nice background scent. It doesn't dominate the room, it doesn't jump out at you, but really, really beautiful. Um, Great summer scent. That's one of my favorites. It's got um, Celion Tea, which uh, probably why it's one of my favorites because I really love tea fragrances. Leotrope, Lush Green, Palm Leaves. And do you want to describe And them? also, you, you may find some of these in uh, hotels. I know around New York, anyway. Tuileries, um, I think. Oh, is it Tuileries? I think it's oh, Tuileries okay. that they burn in, um, sometimes in hotel lobbies. Or something like that? I forget where it is, but it is in, in somewhere in New York City that... Yeah. Anyway, um, another one is Buenos Aires, more floral, it's jasmine, um, jasmine. This one's similar to um, if you like the slack in bamboo and jasmine. Exactly. You will probably like the Buenos Aires. Yeah, it's, it's very, very pretty fragrance. And Palm Beach is also another jasmine. Not. It's got some lang lang. Yeah, like it's a little blossom. softer to me. More, almost more floral. No. Yeah. Yeah, a little, almost like a rose, more than just straight jasmine. I don't pick up rose. No, no, I don't, I mean, just in that. Because if you smell this one, actually you'll notice rose. So this one is Cote d'Azur, oh, it's right. got Lily of the Valley, Water Hyacinth, White Freesia, Pink Rose, and French Verbena. I like this one a lot, this is my mom's favorite, I gave it to her, she loves it, she lives down in Florida. And I do pick up a lot of rose in this. It reminds me of Maldives, which is why I think I like it second, uh, but a little bit more floral, but still very pretty um, and kind of similar in wax color. So well done. This is again where we're starting. We have yeah. more fragrances now. We'll, we'll slowly grow the line over time. Um, they're already on the website, and as I said, look um, heads up for the um, in the fall. Look out for Saint Moritz. Right. It's fantastic. And we'll slowly bring in more, mm -hmm. like she said, Tuileries. Tu Tuileries, definitely. Yeah, and. Uh, Istanbul and Istanbul is much a little darker. It's brown, brown. and wax, and it's more smoky, woody. Reminds me of the Slack and Twigs candle if you're familiar with that. Yeah, very similar to mm -hmm. Slack. 
But um, very nice line, good scent, throw, um, burns long. beautifully, long, long lasting. lasting. It burns so, very pretty. Good, good candle to try. A little yeah. more on the, it's a little higher in price, it's $40. 45. But, oh, 45. Mm -hmm. 45, but it, it does burn for 80 hours. Yeah, like 60 so. to 80 hours. Anyway. And we, I don't know that we've ever finished one, have we? They take so long, and we burn them a lot. And, yeah, and it, 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 sometimes we blow them out a little quick because they really do fragrance. Yeah, really very pretty. And uh, I believe that's it. If you, uh, the question of the day, I think is, um, if you've tried Velux, what's your favorite candle? And give us any type of input you have on them. Thank you. Thank you. Have a great day.